If all drivers act responsibly, if they follow the rules and pay attention, an intersection can be a safe place to be. But if someone makes a mistake or is distracted, busy talking on the phone, or has had too much to drink, the consequences can be deadly. That's why we're seeing more and more modern roundabouts in communities across the country and around the world. And from where I'm standing, seems like a really good idea. Communities throughout the state are considering a new method of moving traffic. Please join us for a short introduction to the modern roundabout. If you are unfamiliar with the modern roundabout, then you should know it is designed to improve traffic capacity and save lives. It is better for the environment and really easy to maneuver. Unlike traditional intersections where traffic stops and waits, a modern roundabout is a circular intersection that converts all entering movements into right turns. There are no traffic signals or stop signs, but there are yield signs at every entrance to the roundabout. Also, because of its geometric design, it has the ability to calm traffic and reduce delays. Here's how it works. As you approach the roundabout, think about where you're going and how you're going to get there, and then pull into the marked lane that will take you there. Next, slow down. The design of the modern roundabout actually leaves no choice but to go slowly. As you slow down, you will look to your left, and if there's traffic already in the roundabout, you yield. That means stop and let them pass. When the traffic is cleared and there's an opening, you may proceed through the roundabout. Again, slow down as you approach. Move into your proper lane, look left, yield to traffic on your left, and move right. And then just exit the roundabout in the direction you want to go. That's it, really. Motorists at modern roundabout intersections don't face traffic lights. They do slow down, and they are required to pay attention. It's as simple as that. And an alternative to this. <laughs>